My name is Rick Walker. I'm the owner of Topps Diner, which is located right outside of Huntington, and I am here to talk about our cash mobs. Basically, a cash mob falls along the lines of the flash mobs, where a group of people get together and do something unexpectedly. What we do is we get a group of people together to mob a local business. It's all about supporting local businesses, and we show up unexpectedly, and we spend money in support of that local business. I had been watching TV and they mentioned it was out in the Midwest somewhere. And as soon as I heard about the idea, it's like something clicked inside of me. It's like, hey, that would be a really neat idea to bring to town. We started in May of last year. We've mobbed 11 businesses so far. Usually it happens on a Saturday, sometimes on like a Tuesday evening after everybody gets off of work. The business owners at first are very cautious and skeptical. They see a large group of people coming into their business and they're not quite sure what's going on. We try to make an announcement fairly quickly that, hey, you're being mobbed, and then they understand what's going on. And from there, it's total excitement and joy. The first business that we mobbed was probably the most memorable. It was Bob Geisinger of Huntington. He owns the Western Auto Store. And his reaction was, wow, it's like Black Friday all over again. Just earlier today, actually, we mobbed Little Hearts. It's a resale store and located in downtown Huntington. And we actually had a really good turnout. I'd say there's probably between 20 and 25 people that showed up. We have a, a fantastically fun group of people that like to do this. They're all very outgoing, and we all have a lot of fun when we go. Each, each mobbing that we do, it's all about having fun, getting to know the business owners, uh, you know, just having, having a good time, all the while supporting the local business. They turned the tables on me back in December, I believe it was. Uh, I had received a phone call from my manager at the diner, and she was insistent that there was a disgruntled customer at the diner who needed my attention. So I went into the diner thinking that I was going to be dealing with this angry customer. And as I walked out into the dining room, I looked around and realized there wasn't too many people there. And at that point, it occurred to me as 40 people came walking through the front door that they were mobbing me instead. So that was kind of their way of turning things around. It was pretty nice. I feel the benefit of people you know, supporting their local businesses on a daily basis, and I know how important it is, and it's really neat for me to give back in this sense. You know, We have that option every day to go out of town and purchase something, or we can try to visit one of our mom and pop stores. There's so much in Huntington, so much that people have to offer. We can avoid the bigger stores and actually support the families themselves who make Huntington what it is. Huntington is a fantastic place to live. I was born and raised here, and I left to go to Shippensburg, the Shippensburg area, for about 20 years. And when I came back, you know, it was like a, I had never left. It was so awesome to come home. My friends and family were still here, and the town is just phenomenal as far as the giving, the way people come together, you know, in times of crisis or in times of people having bad luck. And, and it's what small towns are all about. I'm getting goosebumps as we're talking about it. It just, uh, you know, it's, it's a fantastic place to live.